it's Rob and welcome to Axel's Garage. Today we have another Nylite unboxing and overview for you. And these are the Nylite, where's the, my part number? The ZH304. ZH304. They are a 5 inch amber pod style light. They call it a bar, but it's 5 inches. So it's rectangular, so they call it a bar, but it's really a pod style light. And we ordered these specifically for the front of Emily's XJ. So let me show you what we got. If you're not familiar with Nylite, they got, you know, you got really good LED lights for all your off-roading needs. And then you got the real cheap Amazon Chinese knockoff lights that seem real good and you get them and they suck. They're cheaply made, they get water in them, they, they don't have any good light output, they just suck. But you have Nylite. Now Nylite is gonna be sort of that happy balance. It's a Chinese cheap, well I shouldn't say that. Let's back up. It's a Chinese made light that is budget friendly. It's not really cheap, not as cheap as the Chinese knockoffs you get on Amazon that are like $10 for a set of lights but they are made with a little bit more quality and a little bit more quality control than your average Chinese knockoff light. And that's why you pay a little bit extra for them, but you're not paying the few hundred dollars that you would for a high-end light. So it's a great budget alternative for somebody that doesn't need that crazy high-end light. And we've been using Nylite lights. Nylite has been very good to us. They've partnered with us on a couple of videos. And we're gonna show you this one here. This is the this is the Nylite ZH304. It's an amber. They call it a fog and work light. It does not, if you can see on the lens there, it's got a clear lens. So it doesn't really have that fog style lens that you would expect. However, it does have a nice cutoff so that you're not blinding people as they're coming down the road. These Nylite lights are made, it's, they're aluminum. They're heavy aluminum. They got, they gasketed all the way around. There doesn't seem to be any kind of manufacturing shortcuts or defects on them. They're a decent weight. They got a nice aluminum heat sink on the back, a nice molded wire harness. Um, nice quality stuff here. Um, it's got a adjustable bracket that you can see that I already uh, installed on it so that you're mounting your nylite light and then you can adjust it up and down on the swivel bracket that it has. The mounting bracket itself, let me grab one out of the box here. The mounting bracket itself is a really neat design because when you're gonna mount it on your surface, you can drop this bolt in and the bolt is in a channel so that you don't have, a, have to have a wrench on that side to hold it back. So you can drop this in, mount your light, and then put this in. All you gotta do is worry about spinning that nut on and tightening it down because the bracket itself is gonna hold that back, which is really a feature. They give you hardware, they give you washers. They don't always count the greatest on the washers, so you might need a couple extra washers if you like to use a flat and a lock washer, which I do, so I've had to add washers in the past with not a lot of lights. They give you like an odd number. I don't think they count well over there in China when they're boxing up the, the washers and stuff. But the light itself is a nice light. I really do like it. It seems to be made well. It's got a nice color on it, and I'm gonna show you that right now. I'm gonna take just a regular Milwaukee 12 volt tool battery, and let's see if we guess right, which is positive and negative, and we guess right. Okay, so there is the color. Oh, I came out on the thing here. I'm gonna to have to keep one hand on the, I'm gonna to have to keep one hand on the battery. and one on the light. So there you go like that, that's the color of your light. It is a nice bright light, and if I turn it around to the wall, you can see that it has a nice distinct cutoff, you can see right there, which is what you want in a light, especially one that has a clear lens, because you don't want to blind oncoming traffic if you're using it on a road where you might have oncoming traffic. If you're using it off-road, then you don't care, but if the feature is there, it gives you more versatility, and you don't find that in the cheap Chinese knockoffs. You do find that in the better quality lights, like a Nylite. Like I said, it's a budget-friendly light, a great alternative for somebody that doesn't need those crazy off-road heavy-duty lights, which they have their place. They are good lights. I'm not saying anything bad about the expensive one. The problem is the vast majority of us, we don't need that much 
um, heavy dutiness. You know, if you if you if you really do, if you're really um, you know you know doing an overlanding rig that you might be living out of or something like that, and you need to spend a lot of money on on top of the line stuff, that's your choice. But if you want to do something budget friendly, this is a great choice. And for me, um, the vehicle that we're you know that we had planned to put it on, which we'll get to in a second, which was Emily's uh, XJ, her Cherokee XJ, that is pretty much a pavement pounder. We want it to look nice, we want it to function nice, we want the four wheel drive to work well, so that when she drives in the snow, which we do get a decent amount of snow here, she'll be comfortable, and if she does do any light off-road trail riding, um, she can do that as well, which we, we do hit a dirt road or a beach every now and then but we don't do a lot of serious trail riding. This budget-friendly light is perfect for what we need, and it's not that cheap $10 Amazon knockoff that is not gonna work after six months and is gonna fill up with water and look like crap. So this light, all aluminum, good heat sinks. Every, I can't find a manufacturing defect on it. The only thing that I don't like about this particular style light is that you can only mount it on top of something you can't mount it under a bumper because the way the bracket is designed um, if you mounted it under a bumper you could only swivel it up from neutral and when you mount it above a bumper you can swivel it down from neutral which is what you normally would need to do if these mounted in the front of the vehicle so that you're not throwing the light straight up in the in the air because if you use it as a fog light or a driving light throwing the light up would reflect back at you and that wouldn't uh, really function too well. So that's the one drawback. The other drawback is you have to be concerned, and this is just my fault, I ordered this light for the Cherokee, and you have to be concerned with your mounting point, which is gonna be the center of that bracket, and the back of the light, that distance, you need to have that amount of distance where you're gonna mount it. And I didn't, I didn't even realize that the front bumper of the Cherokee only stuck out about that much from the grill and when I went to go test fit these to see where I wanted to put them, I realized that it, with the back of, of the light up against the grill, with the back of the light up against the grill, and it's, uh, the doorbell's ringing in my pocket because uh, it's Halloween, but that's not my house, that's my mom's house. Um, the, the, the mounting bracket is actually off the front of the bumper, so these aren't gonna work in the application that I wanted it to. I'm still using the lights, these are actually going to go on Robbie's K5. He's got the big military style brush guard and they're going to mount on that brush guard really well. So in the box you get two lights, you get mounting hardware for the two lights, you get um, like I said, the mounting hardware, nuts, bolts, and depending on which who packed your box you might have enough washers, you might need to add some washers, um, or you might have extra washers. You might have the two that I'm missing. What's really good about this comes with a wiring harness and I like when something comes with a wiring harness like this because I'm I'm kind of anal about wiring and I usually make my own harness and I'll, I'll lay out the wires, I'll solder the connections, I'll put terminals on them, spade terminals where I need spade terminals, I'll solder, heat shrink, I'll wrap the whole thing in Tessa tape or loom, um, I'll zip tie everything together neatly that takes a lot of time and it actually costs a decent amount of money. So for the 27 and change that this light costs you ship to your door, Amazon Prime, you're getting the lights with the mounting hardware, you're getting some spade terminals and fuses, and you're getting this massive harness, which is worth probably uh, 20 out of the $27 right here. Because this harness has a, a 30 amp relay, it's got an inline fuse, it's got nice brass ring terminals. It's got shrink wrap on it. It's got, you know, loom on it. It's got a split connection, weather tight, so that you can install it a little bit easier. It's got a leg that's going to go down to the lights where you don't even have to splice anything in. All you have to do is put spade terminals on the end of your lights and plug them in, and you're good to go there. And it's got a switch leg, so it's a three ended harness, it's got a switch leg with an illuminated switch that you can mount inside the vehicle, which is, like I said, if you make one, the, those of you out there that have made harnesses yourself on your workbench know how valuable getting something like this is and how much easier it makes your install. I have nothing bad to say about Nylite so far. Uh, this is, like I said, this is the second time that we're using them. 
I love these lights. I hate that they don't fit on Emily's Jeep, but that's my fault, not my light's fault. I kind of picked the wrong one. I thought I had more room and I didn't. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go find an eye light that fits the front of Emily's Jeep. We're gonna put these back in the box and we're gonna make a video coming up soon installing them on Robbie's K5 on that front military style brush guard and they're gonna look awesome on his K5 and we'll show you how they work. We also have night light videos coming up where we put the backup lights on the XJ and we're gonna do a six month update on that, how they've worked, how they've held up, what they look like after six months. You're gonna be surprised. You're gonna be happy if you're a nightlife guy. And geez, it's Halloween and the thing keeps going off all the time. That's it today from Axel's Garage. Let me go answer that door. Comments, questions, concerns down below. If you've used nightlife, let me know what you think. And I'm gonna go get the door. Happy Halloween. Thanks for watching.